So this, I know I've got so many people asking me for it. This is the QTech Mass AQ. It's still a prototype, guys. You cannot buy it. You cannot buy it from me. I'm not going to sell it to you. I don't have that many of them. Hey guys, I'm Florian Kohler, also known as Venom, and today is one of the big questions everybody asks me, what's in my case? Actually, I'm a little more complicated than most people. I don't have just one, I've got two. So we're gonna start with the first case, which is my normal pool case, and then in another episode, we'll cover the trick shot case. Let's go on the first one though. So. 4x8 QTEC, uh, honestly, amazing cases, super durable. That thing's about two years old. It's traveled probably 10 country plus and uh, still looks fantastic. So we're gonna open it. So it's a nice little zipper here. And here we go. So I'm gonna start from the left because it's usually where all my stuff is. So starting from the left here, I have, e, that's my Avid Era QTEC. Uh, weight, you're about 18 ounce. I basically remove all the weights I can in there. Uh, it's a standard Q. The only difference you'll see is this uh, little white rubber grip, uh, which is just something you roll in, roll out. Uh, I use it mainly for three cushion. So this is why, because it helps me with strokes, different kinds of strokes, short stroke, long stroke. So I really like those rubber grip. The rest is basically a wrap less Q other than that. I got two shafts with it that come. My trick shot shaft here, which is the 1275. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see or not, but the ferrule is pretty well eaten up. It's definitely a beat up shaft, but you know, works really, really good. And then I got a backup and kind of a secondary shaft here, which is the 11, oh, this is the 1225 I've been testing. I also have the 11 one. Uh, both of them Kamui super soft black. This one is kind of brand new. So I'm um, just about to test it out, see what happens with it. So that's my main playing cue. Then I have a second playing cue in here, which is my second model. It's the Avid Optex FK, which is a beautiful cue here. Uh, rather than the white, you have the aluminum on the back here on the joint, the rings. And uh, again, super light, uh, make it as light as possible. And this one I use for a couple different reasons. So this is a kind of a special shaft that was made for me. It's uh, just maple, but it's a very flexible shaft and uh, it's about 11 millimeter. It's uh, mainly for stroke shots, so it whips a lot and you're able to get a lot, of, uh, a lot of life out of the shaft, right? So this is the one I use with it for most close stroke shots uh, and most extreme stroke shots. And then with it, I use also the new 10.5 uh, carbon fiber QTEC. So uh, this one's kind of an interesting thing because as much as I really don't like to play too much with it in the, on the nine foot table, I love to play with those on small seven foot tables. So this is usually my bar box shaft and uh, works quite well, pretty happy with it. So those are all my QTEC models. Then we're gonna move on to another one. Oh, this is the break cue, cool. So this is my break cue. Uh, this one actually, I don't take any weight off. This is Kim Standards 19, this is what I'm using. So it is purely uh, stock, this one. Uh, it's also the Surge, my, also my model. Uh, it's beautiful stained uh, grain here, beautiful. We got the standard brake shaft here, it comes phenolic, and I literally haven't changed anything. That thing is a monster. Uh, it hits super well, and it's priced very competitively. So, you know, really nothing to say here. It's just a great brake cue, especially for entry level. Uh, what else do I have right here? Oh, a Propel. So, um, my favorite jump cue. Here we go. So comes with, this is I think my ghost edition in there. Yep. So one of the most sought after jump cue really. So the Propel Ghost carbon fiber here, uh, all the way actually I believe. Uh, it comes with a little extension on the back that you can remove and put for longer jump. And the only difference on this one is uh, the tip. This is kind of a prototype tip. Can't really say much more, but uh, it's not the standard tip that was on there. Uh, really my go-to jump cue usually. Uh, I just won the world championship with it for jumps, so you know I can't say nothing bad about it. Then I have a secondary jump cue here, which is the new ones. So those are the Avid jump cues. Uh, so Surge as well. And here you go. So this is the same material, same look as the brake cue. 
really, really good jump cue, especially for entry level as well. The only difference again that you're going to see on this one is I removed the usual phenolic uh, ferrule tip combo and I put uh, G10 on it. G10 helps to jump a little easier because I use this one mainly for trick shots for one hand jump and stuff like that. So it's a very well balanced cue. I love it for one handed stuff and like more like standard and longer distance jumps. So the G10 really helps me get some air and uh, it works fantastic. So yeah, here you go. That's the second jump cue I have in the case. What else do I have? I should have one left. And uh, here we go, the Mass AQ. So this, I know I've got so many people asking me for it. This is the Q-Tech Mass AQ. It's still a prototype, guys. You cannot buy it. You cannot buy it from me. I'm not gonna sell it to you. I don't have that many of them. So it's a very heavy butt, about 25 ounces, I believe. And then uh, I have a Kevlar shaft that came with it. Uh, this was made by my good friend Abram. Uh, he basically bought the, the material and we just make it. So um, we have, uh, I have a couple of uh, standard shaft, wood shaft or whatever, but at the end of the day, Kevlar is just superior for Mass A. And uh, so this is purely a prototype and I'm sure Q-Tech will come up with a version that will be sellable in the future. But at this moment, this is uh, kind of my version. And uh, you know, this one's not going anywhere. So Kevlar shaft, pretty uh, unusual for pool, but uh, they use the material a lot for five pin stuff. So this is all that's in there as far as Q goes. And uh, let's see what's in the pockets. So you can already see I got the extension. Uh, I've got the propel butt here. Then I had my uh, surge jump cue butt. And then here I have my dual extension. Again, pretty nice stuff from Q-Tech, well packaged. And this is a carbon fiber extension. And the cool thing about it, it comes in two parts. So you can use it for just a short one or just the middle one or as a very long one. So um, it goes straight on the back of the queue, super quick like this, seamless. And uh, yeah, just can't say much about it that, you know, beside that it works pretty good and every, every pool player should have an extension in their bag. So I'm gonna put it back. Uh, while I'm putting this back, you can see here, I've got the joint protector, uh, which is really just put both sides there. So when you play, you don't lose them. Uh, you know, I will say, I don't really use joint protector anymore because I got so many cues, especially when I do show that I, you know, I'm losing them anyway. So I, uh, I kind of don't do it. But if, uh, if you're taking care of your material, use the joint protector, it definitely helps. I got an inside pocket here. Let me see what's in there. I've got nothing here. What's in there? I've got a, ooh, an old piece of chalk. Okay, that thing has seen better days. So that used to be a 098 Kamui, which is uh, pretty hard to get now. So, and then what else do I have in this zipper here? I've got just some patches. There you go, and an extra grip. Nothing too fancy. Uh, let me see what's in this one here. All right, I got a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff here. I got a bunch of uh, sandpaper for the tip, sandpaper for wood shaft. I do have one, so I don't have a choice. Wipes for carbon fiber and um, avid shaft. Hand wipes because, you know, get a lot of chalk on me usually. Let's see what I get here. Some more of those. Oh, I've got my little uh, pouch for tips, so extra tips in there. And you're gonna see a Kamui tip here, black super soft. And I have a couple Eckmasters for just the Massey ones. A uh, little tip tool here, there's my brand on it. I sell this online, just sandpaper on the back. I've got, oh, a Kamui glove here. This one has seen better days too, but I like to have extra. My usual Q-Tech glove here. There you go. Uh, and then what else do I have? Well, it looks like a, a seldom joint protector that's been lost. Oh, prototype chalk, can't talk about it. Mm, this is empty. Nice little tip tool here as well. This one works really good. It's got the little thing on the back to, to uh, perform the tip. And then uh, the Kamui Gator Grip, really nice. This one you go like this, uh, and it, it makes it really, really nice and easy and smooth. So 
This one I really like, it's a good tool. What else do I have? I have, uh, yeah, this is interesting. That's uh, for my wrist. I actually dislocated my wrist a few years back. And uh, at some point, you know, that was due to mass ache because I was doing the European grip and I just popped a few bones. So this is what I have to use sometimes. I haven't used it in a while, so, but this is there in case, just to make sure that, you know, if I have a lot of shows and it starts to hurt, I don't have a choice, I gotta use something like that. And then, uh, and there I got a few chocks, some random chalk, pool dog chalk that I just give away to people usually. And the Kamui 121 uh, blue. This is pretty much what's in there. And let me see, all right, what else do I have here? Towel, obviously. Every uh, good pool player should have a towel there. I have a Q-Tech one on the other case. Uh, and now this is my two uh, chalk little zipper things. So I've got my Kamui chalk uh, magnetic, whatever, chalk holder. And that's Kageki chalk in there. That's the same chalk I use every day here. That's the gray one. Works really, really, really good. Uh, you know, I, don't, I know people, uh, like to say that you know chalk's overpriced and stuff now but it is so much better than the real stuff so here we go i got actually three of them just because i know i lose them and then this one is empty and then the final little uh, object here is uh the little tip pick here that everybody should have as well and i think this is pretty much it i think we've made the tour here the whole case is there as you can see you fit quite a bit and uh you know this is just my standard playing case, so you won't find anything too fancy aside from the Mass AQ, but I think, you know, every pool player should have uh, most of what I carry pretty much.